Okay. Recording started. Notes are needing to be moved. One second. I have to put things in my pocket. My desk space is very limited, so I have to move things around. Put this here on my left, since I'm left-handed. And double check again. Everything is good. Now I just have to remember before I hit start, time is set. Remember to actually click on the location before we do this. Anyway, all the mantras have been said. Now the intro shall be beginning. As I say, hey, it's uh, Monday. We have ourselves a geoguesser here. And just like with every other Monday for the past, I don't know how many weeks, quite a while at least, we're doing a state. And if you remembered last week's New Hampshire, well, the next one is another new state. There's a couple of those. And after H in the American alphabet is a J because there's no new I. There's an I state, but it's not New Indianapolis, at least not yet. And the state for this Monday is New Jersey, the armpit of America, so lovingly referred to. It's this little nugget of land between lots of very large metropolitan areas. New York over here, Philadelphia down there, arguably a little bit of Wilmington. It's just a huge suburb, essentially, compared to other states. It is the uh, third state in the Union, which became a state uh, December 18th, 1787. Uh, the capital here is in Trenton. The largest city, though, however, is uh, Newark. And what we're going to have to do is zoom in a smidge to come over here and see it. As it's essentially, you could argue, a suburb of New York at this point. Now, I'm going to try to find out where we are on this as I, I guess, do a little anecdote of I've been to Jersey a few times, um, not for a very long time at least, where North Jersey District Water Supply Commission, so we're in Wanake, so we're up here, and there's Wana, Wan, Wanatage, Wantage. That's the word. So maybe it's one of these. That's Highland Lake. So I think we're up here. I'm going to click one of these. Maybe we're over here. Culver Lake. We're going to find out as we continue. I have a general idea, at least. I've clicked a spot, so we can continue. Um, when I went here, it was to visit family. The one time we went down to Jersey was for a couple of days in the summer. We went to uh, Six Flags down here. Now, I don't know exactly where that is because that was a very long time ago. Slotesburg, what a name. Separate pond. Pot take. Is this Ringwood? Is this one? No. All right. I'm going to put us here and try to look for uh, Slotesburg, West Milford. Slotesburg's there. So there's West Milford. Oakland is uh, north, north that way. So Oakland's got to be either down here. So now I think we're over here. Pine Cliff, Greenwood. I'm going to put us here. I am Wyawanda. No, okay. A lot of little ponds up here. Um, I don't know where it is. I think it's somewhere in the middle of the state. I know we had to take some called the New Jersey Turnpike to get to it, but um, maybe it's down here. Either way, it's not important. Um, and the the running joke leaks with a lot of Americans, and it kind of was the same there too. It was a very uh, Passaic County 692, a very dirty pollution type of thing. You could say with, uh, I'll just click us there. Maybe this road will tell me where we are. Drinking water, security. I don't know. 
Looking for that sign. Where'd that sign go? Oh, here we go. Wanna Wanna K. I don't know where Wanna K is. It's not it's not showing up here. I very much got quickly distracted before going through the rest of the preamble here. Anyway. It's the fourth smallest state, as you can see here. It's a very small little chunk of land here in between two very large metropolitan areas. Oh, so we were actually, oh, Wana Cage right there. I'm just fucking, I'm, I'm blind. Uh, it's the fourth smallest with the 11th most populous, though, because it's being around all of those cities, which makes it, because of that combination, the most densely populated state in the country. The, uh... Average income is $79,363, according to Wikipedia, and it contradicts itself in the first paragraph and then on the data on the side, where one says it's the um, second wealthiest, and other ones will say that it's third. So it's, it's definitely up there. Um, I'm going to mark some of these off as I go through so I know where I am. We'll put that there. Um, it apparently has the highest number of millionaires in the country, which it apparently is around 9%, which is crazy when you think about it. It's a lot of millionaires. Hmm. Um, one of the first European settlements for the country, uh, for the state. I mean, you can kind of assume, as with most states, if not <clears throat> every eastern state at least, and you could argue every state, Native Americans were here, and then it just turned out to be Europeans came along, and they're like, yo, we like this, it's ours now. In one form or another, it was either slowly, uh, what's it, it can't be repoed, it was just possessed, and they're like, this is ours now. And New Jersey's no different, it just happened way sooner than some of the other ones. The first uh, European settlements in the state were actually by Dutch and Swedish colonists, with the Dutch one being New Netherland, because they couldn't come up with any, uh, like, normal names, or new names, I should say. <clears throat> well, for example, the state itself was named after um, the Isle, the Island of Jersey and the Channel Islands over here, which I think, yeah, this is what it was named after, the whole state. Mainly because I guess there was something with a war in England at the time, and the island of Jersey was still sympathetic to that king. So the king's like, eh, we'll name a thing after you, I guess. Um, click this off. Yep, got that too, got that. Those two as well. Um, looking here too, it's a... Uh, Excuse me, just just wandering through this little strip of road here. It's a very uh, uh, culturally culturally diverse state. Um, <clears throat> there's like little Italy's, little India's, little anything you want. They, there's a lot here in New Jersey. Oh uh, wait, did that say Hackensack or Sa Hackett's Town? It's Hackensack. I don't know where the fuck Hackensack is. It's not showing up here. Scrolling just a smidge. There it is. Maybe we're around here, I'm going to say. Um, Goodyash groceries. I'm hoping one of these things might say exactly what it is here, but I'm not, I'm not seeing it. A lot of little... I think these are bodegas. But anyway, if you want to see something um, interesting, go ahead and look at the uh, New Jersey Wikipedia site, and it shows the... Uh, Relative location of New Netherland and New Sweden here in the uh, U.S., where New Netherlands has a very phallic shape to it. It's a super long boner that basically goes um, starting down here, and it basically goes up maybe around Kingston and back. It's just one long, very excited dick. And then the other one was the uh, Swedish um, settlement, which happened around here. This is kind of the area that it was. They may have started it, but English came over and kind of just took over. It, it became a very English um, settlement very quickly on. They just kind of came in and said, hey, we got money and 
we got more more power we're just taking this and it just kind of happened then eventually the uh revolutionary war happened as we call it what well, ran out of time i think it clicked pretty close not very close though we're over here in patterson patterson with one t <clears throat> with um new jersey being i think the third state it was the third state too but one of the i think the first ones to be like yo we're our own state i think they were they like delaware was the first to say it i think and then they just came the first state i am stuck in a dumb brain loop right now anyway we're gonna ignore everything i just said there and notice we're around a reservoir of sorts what are we at here essex county that doesn't help me i think every state has an essex county is this a ymca it is mount clary mount clare ymca youth something christian association i believe is what ymca is well except for the m i can't remember what that is i don't know where mount clare is but interesting interestingly enough uh new jersey has one of the best public school systems in the u.s i don't know what the metrics are for saying that but it's what it says on the wikipedia so genesis healthcare that doesn't help me i need a drink mouth is getting dry Mm. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me okay so blah 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 revolutionary war happened and then uh u.s got their independence it was a state then the civil war happened being part of the north um eventually it uh abolished slavery but however it was the last northern state to do it on february 15 1804 they kind of dragged their feet on that um and then when that was over they uh kind of kind of became like uh almost like new hampshire with a very uh industrial like section of the country most of the northeast was a very manufacturing based economy and prospered crazily and this even lasted until about the great depression which everything kind of got reset and an interesting little anecdote that I saw was it was the uh, state itself apparently offered something called uh, begging licenses to unemployed people for the Great Depression. So I guess you had to pay money to be allowed to beg in the state. Cedar Grove. This is a highway up here, isn't it? Get me up there. None of that is happening. I want to get on that highway if I can. I don't know where this is, and I got a minute left. What what happened? Why am I here? This isn't where I wanted to be. What happened? I am so disoriented now. Um. Hmm. Cedar Grove. What do we have here? County of Passaic. I don't know where that is. I think it's around Trenton. Where's Trenton? I'm going to say here. I really don't know. Princeton Meadows, Kingston. Is this where Passaic is? I feel like whenever I've seen Trenton, um, <clears throat> it was in the town, the county of Passaic, but I don't, I don't know. What is this line? Rail? I don't know. I did click at least. Oh, we were way the fuck up north. Okay. Cedar Grove right there. It's just one massive suburb. <laughs> it's the whole place. Anyway, once the uh, World War II started, um, it became a huge um, like industry steel manufacturing for the war. Boom, just like gave it a huge economy and kind of picked up like it did with the rest of the country, at least here in the U.S. Wow, that was a very bad score for that one. Helped it. Um, North 94. 
help to not be depressed, I guess, anymore. It's a very um, clumsy sentence I just said, but that's what happened. 94, are we down here? Are we up here? Let's look for 94 real quick. See if I can't maybe not waste too much time looking for it here. Um, not seeing it. Uh, a lot of 70s, but no 94. But if you've been paying attention to any of the um to this map compared to any of the other ones, it's uh far more developed everywhere. Like I said, it's the most densely populated state in the U.S. and it very much shows. We got North Night South 94. This doesn't help me. This might though. Stillwater and Millbrook. Hmm. So now I got to try to find. Stillwater or Millbrook. I can't find 90 anywhere, which is a problem. Um, there's 94, but I need 90. Maybe it's around here. I'm gonna zoom in a smidge. Maybe that'll help. It didn't. All right, that's Philadelphia. That's Pennsylvania. I gotta <clears throat> stay in my state here. Stay in your state. Man, my voice is just refusing to work today. I got two minutes left. This is fine. We're not in panic yet. Let's uh, just keep going around here. Um, I did find another list of verses for the state, but I really feel like I need to find where the freak this is. Oh, if you remember from the Nevada one we did a couple of weeks ago, when I mentioned the, um, oh, maybe the sign up here, one of the, what just happened, why is this blurry? Here we go. Lake Susquehanna, Cedar Lake. I don't know where Lake Susquehanna is. This is a problem. Hmm. I need this sign over here. Columbia. Newton and Sussex. Man. I'm not getting anything here. I'm not seeing 90. Newton, Sussex. Like 94 is up here, but this. Oh, there's Newton. Now, where is Sussex? As you can see, a lot of English. Um names unless it's part of like one of these where they like split them but it doesn't look it <clears throat> i'm gonna put a stair anyway just so i have like a location i think oh there's some stuff up here i got 35 seconds let's see uh ooh, we do have a highway over interstate hackettstown east 80 where's east 80 so it's down here, Hackettstown, and Hope. I'm not seeing Hope. Bridgeville, Lebanon, Hampton, Tewksbury, nope. Man, I could not find it. I found 94. I bet you they said 94, and I'm just fucking dumb. Anyway, <clears throat> so after the uh, the the World Wars, it kind of had a bit of an issue with, uh, let's see here, quick reading, um, there was a lot of race riots in the 60s, there's a bit of an issue, at least with Newark, it's a very high crime um, city, and I can hear a lot of anecdotes about people going to basketball games out there. Uh, the New Jersey Nets, actually, no, they're in Brooklyn now, but when they were in New Jersey, I believe, um, if you were going to those, they basically cordoned off the streets and pathways you would go to to actually get to the city or the, the, the arena from, like, public transit. It's a bit of an issue. Um, what else we got here? 
looking at this, very densely populated, very cultural, it's very culturally mixed with a lot of things like, um, pretty prominent Islam community. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> I talked about Atlantic City being a, another gambling area. They made it into, like, they make gambling legal in a 1976 referendum. First legalized casino opened in 1978. And now it's a lot of them. Atlantic City's down here in the south <clears throat> of Jersey, excuse me, on the world's longest board, board walk, which if you ever saw um, a really good HBO show, um, Boardwalk Empire, if you haven't, uh, go ahead and check out that. It's it, that's a pretty good, pretty good show. Highly recommend it. Let's take a look around. Okay, there is a huge, huge list here of uh, at least mu musicians from uh, New Jersey. But well, first, we're gonna go over some other little snippets. Um, there's some local cultural food. Apparently, it's something called the uh, pork roll, which is basically uh, a roll, a bun, that has ham in it. That's basically it. It's a pork-braised processed meat commonly available in New Jersey, New York, Delaware, and parts of Pennsylvania, Maryland. Real exciting. And then something I'd never heard of before called Scrapple. And I looked this thing up, and it is extremely unappealing looking. But it's also known by the Pennsylvania Dutch as Panhas, which apparently is Pan Rabbit. It's traditionally, a, this is the words they use in Wikipedia, a mush of pork. Mush of pork scraps and trimmings combined with cornmeal, wheat flour, buckwheat flour, and spices. And then it is formed into a semi-solid congealed loaf. And then you pan fry it. It's just kind of like kind of the same concept as a hot dog it's just real weird looking and apparently the preparation for it is cut into quarter inch or three quarter inch slices pan fried until brown to form a crust sometimes you coat it with flour to help with that you can apparently broil it and it's usually eaten as a breakfast side dish and you can uh, serve it with Apple butter, ketchup, jelly, maple syrup, honey, or mustard. Mmm. Very tasty. I got distracted with the final one here. <clears throat> now to tie up some loose ends here, at least with when I talked about going there to Jersey, my one and only time, South Jersey Regional Airport. Well, we're down here in this region. Um... Uh, I think a lot when I was when I was a kid, I'd watch Garfield and Friends, which was a Saturday morning cartoon. And one of the uh, common jokes they would always make would be Jersey, like the the city of New Jersey just being polluted. Maybe at the time, just being a kid, it was a joke I'd laugh at it because Lorenzo Music, being the voice of Garfield, just is like, ah, that's funny. He said a joke. I'm gonna laugh at it. I don't understand it, but I'm just laughing at it. And then I just kind of held on to that and through popular culture. And a lot of it actually was uh, validated. Let me see if I can actually find it. Let's see. Uh, I need to find... That might have actually been in Ohio. Yeah, that was actually in Ohio. The Cuyahoga River caught fire because it was so poorly, uh, horribly polluted. But when I was in Jersey, I saw a lot of these massive houses. And I mentioned this some other times before. Brownskeeping is a huge thing when I was there. This is late 90s at the time. Where, <clears throat> I don't know if it was like a, a mandate or just kind of like cultural pr uh, pressure. To keep up with your neighbors but everyone had landscaping like people mowing your lawns because people didn't want to do it themselves 
And then some people went the extra mile and just got rid of grass entirely and decided to go ahead and, uh, ooh, we have some signs. This may help. Not really. Yeah, Burlington County, I believe is what it says. So I think maybe we're down here. I'm going to say we're in Cumberland, but I really don't know. It seems to be the least developed part of the state. Um, but anyway, Jersey polluted. And when we were taking a little walk around my uh, cousin's house, I believe they were my cousins. I don't remember exactly. We stopped by a little pond. And they said, yeah, if you ever drain this little pond here, I mean, it looked real nice and pristine. There were swans swimming on top of it. But he said, if you ever actually drain this swamp, you'd find like 20, 30 cars. It would just be a dump in there. I guess that's a big problem in the state, or at least it was at one point. So it's one of the side effects of, I guess, the industrialization and not having a very good idea of the consequences other than just money and everyone getting it. Hmm. Patty Wagon Cafe, Medford. What do we got? Live Music Saturday. Now, with the 30 seconds left, we're going to list off, because I think I'm pretty close. I'm not going to really get much closer than this, I believe. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to go through every single person listed in the music of New Jersey. These are all people who either were born here or formed from here. You got Frank Sinatra, Bruce Springsteen, the Jonas Brothers, uh, Queen Latifah, Lauren Hill, Red Man, uh, everybody from the Sugar Hill Gang, um, somebody from Rockefeller Records called Just Blaze. You got John Bon Jovi. I think we actually drove by John Bon Jovi's mansion when we were there. Oh, we were fucking way off. You've got Donnie Warwick, Whitney Houston, uh, jazz pianist Count Basie. Never heard of them. Parliament Funk was formed by George Clinton, who was from Plainfield, apparently. Stone Pony, uh, which Bruce Springsteen and John Bon Jovi frequented early in their careers. I guess that's a bar. Ninety by Nature. The Isley Brothers founded a record label there. Jersey Boys apparently is based on the members of the Four Seasons, who are from the state. Some jazz pianist, Bill Evans. The band Thursday. I think I've heard of them. Uh, the band Misfits. Uh, Glenn Danzig is apparently from Lodi. How about that? Didn't know. For some reason, I thought he was European. Uh, Patty Smith. We've got Joe Latengo. Uh, I guess Ska was born, at least on the East Coast, in Jersey. Black Label Society. Oh, Zach Wilde apparently is from Jersey. I didn't know that. Bouncing Souls grew up in Jersey and formed there. My Chemical Romance. I don't know how many. There's four people listed here, and I guess they're all from there. Some band called Cobra Starship. Their front man is from there. Gaslight Anthem. I didn't know that they were punk, but apparently they are. Dillinger Escape Plan, which is a huge. I really like them. They're awesome. If you've not listened to them at all, well, they were a band. Not anymore. Are apparently from Moore's Plains. My mouth is dying. So, and then finally, Debbie Harry was raised by her adoptive parents in Hawthorne. That was a terrible final score. That's the state. My voice is dying. <laughs> Hopefully I gave you some information, something helpful to uh, fill in knowledge gaps, I guess, or at least help you tease you into be like, oh, they he said some things, but it didn't sound like he made very good sense, so I'm going to go find out for myself about the state of New Jersey. Wonderful place. I don't think I ever want to live there. Way too crowded. But that's just me. Ah, That's going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, thoughts, ideas, theories, suggestions, postulations. Go ahead and put them in the comments below along with your like, favorite, comment, subscribes. I'll be there to read them and get back to you. So, with my last little 
dry mouth here. Well, thank you all again for watching, and we will see you on Wednesday for another round of GeoGuessr. So until then, have a good one, folks.